Welcome, folks, one and all, to Let's Play the Stanley Parable Demonstration. The demo of the Stanley Parable. Because why play the demo first, eh? Well, actually, there are a lot of reasons why you should play the demo first, but I digress. The Stanley Parable Demonstration was developed and published by Galactic Cafe, and was, I believe, released very shortly after the announcement of the date of the release of the standalone Stanley Parable as the Stanley Parable originally was a mod for Half-Life 2. The Stanley Parable demonstration, as far as I know, has nothing in it that's in the actual main standalone game. As in, this isn't a traditional demo in that it's not a piece of the main game put into a separate thing for people to experience. Because Galactic Cafe believed that you lose some of the context and what they were trying to convey with the Stanley Parable, if they just took a piece of the game and released it separately. So we designed the Stanley Parable demonstration to be entirely different and entirely separate, but still convey what they hope to achieve with the Stanley Parable. Now, I have not played this game at all. I've literally loaded it up and set the sound and the video to what the other the standalone Stanley Parable was. Because I believe that if the balance was right in that, it'll be right in this. They are, after all, effectively the same engine, and hopefully have the same volumes. I also have subtitles on, so there will be subtitles. Let's, without further ado, begin the demo. Because how can you begin if you do not press begin? The answer is, you can't. Let's go. Loading! Excellent. Here we go. The Stanley Parable Demonstration. Excellent. This is the point where the Stanley Parable Demonstration should begin. Hmm. Well, clicking with the mouse means that we actually hear a sound, so... Is it broken? Hmm. Oh! Oh! Okay! So it's actually just a screen. That's really clever! That's really clever! So here is the demonstration. It's a wall! Well, that was an excellent demo. And when we come back, folks, we'll look at something else at... Oh. Well, turns out there's more to this demonstration than meets the eye. Ah! There's loads more that meets the eye. And the ceiling, apparently. Thanks for that, Mouse. Let's move on, shall we? To the demonstration! To some cars! It doesn't look like many of these cars have been driven for a while. And I don't think we'll be getting anything from that vending machine. However, there's a helpful handy sign. Let's go! This way, to the demonstration. Can't open these doors. Fair enough. Your number is 27. There's a receptionist's desk there. I can just about read receptionist number one, but no receptionist. Welcome to the Stanley Parable Demonstration. Thank you. Your number is 28. Okay. When your number is displayed, please enter the demonstration room. Thank you, and have a pleasant demonstration. Thank you very much. Where is the receptionist? What is the name of this potted plant? And where is the receptionist? Really, where is she? Is this place going to be empty? Has something happened to them? Well, our number's 28, so let's go. And there's no going back this way. Please wait for your number and then enter. Thank you. Okay. Let's go in. Hmm, it's a nice... Somebody spilt their coffee! Who spilt the coffee? Come on, own up! They say, um... Oh! They say, Stanley... The Stanley Parable Demo. Oh, that's cool! I like that. Now serving 24. We've still got time yet. We can look around. So that's an entirely different thing. That's not in the, uh... Main game, as I believe, anyway. Unless they hid one somewhere that I don't know about. They might have done. They might have done. 
This place is much better than... Well, actually, it's not better than the uh, staff room because there's nothing to actually make coffee with. I wonder what happens if I leave it to go to number 29. Well, it's not my number anymore. Let's go in. I'm going to be late! Here are some famous demos. They're demos, all right. I recognize a few of them. I recognize a few of them. And there is a window. A window leading to oblivion. And what looks like some screens. I have arrived! To silence. Well, let's head further up. No? Lots of silence. Hello? Oh, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Stanley Parable live demonstration. Hello! It will be my pleasure to guide you through this sneak peek at what to expect in the Stanley Parable. Yay! A tease. Just enough to leave you hungry for more. How exciting. Can't you just feel that nervous tension? Yep. The looming uncertainty? Why don't we drink in the anticipation for a moment, just for 20 minutes or so? What? Please, for just 20 minutes, don't move or act in any way. Simply remain motionless and let the thrill of demoing the Stanley Parable wash over you. Uh... Oh, I get it. You're too anxious. You can barely hold still. Oh. I'll well, tell you what. I think we should walk off that nervous energy before getting the demo underway. Okay. Here, why don't I take you on a little tour of the facility and show you how we make a demonstration for a game like the Stanley Parable. Hmm. No, I'm going to go back. Oh. Curse you! I cannot go back. Therefore, I must go forward. Here we go. This is where I and the other proctors have been working meticulously to construct a demo that explains clearly and concisely exactly what the Stanley Parable is, how it plays, and why you should spend real-world money on the main game. Oh. Video game demonstrations are tricky, and without the proper technology, you run the risk of the player having no idea what to expect in the full version. Indeed. You ever get the feeling like you're being watched? I think we're being watched. Let's move on. I'm sure there'll be many people here to help us. Or nobody here to help us. Demo admin number 10. And demo admin number 9 are clearly absent. In fact, if I go look here, everyone seems to be absent. There's an out of order one over there. Hmm. Wonder if I can get access to that. Probably not. Well, let's move on and see what lies beyond door number one of one. Buttons. These look familiar. Ah, here is one such technology. These buttons are meant to convey the meaning of choice and the impact of the decisions you make. Okay. After all, choices carry tremendous meaning and consequence. Didn't you know that? Hmm. Go ahead. Why don't you try picking one of these buttons to press, and we'll see what your choice says about you. Okay, um, there's a lot of buttons. Let's see, you've got eight buttons there. 16, 24, 32, 40. So there's 80 buttons there, and 32 buttons here. That's a lot of buttons. And I'm going to press this one. How fascinating. Did you know that 94% of all people who select that particular button are sexual predators? You see, our choices really do illuminate the very intangible nature of our minds and souls. Pervert. I think you might have got that a little wrong. Press another button. I can't press any more buttons. Why can I not press more buttons? Hmm. Well, that's choices. Let's move on. Okay, what else can I show you then? I don't know. This place is the buffalo of game design. Nothing is wasted. Right. That's the status of the de compliments. Compliments. 
one of the most important parts of administering any demonstration mm -hmm. is pumping up your ego and appealing to insecurities about your sense of self-worth. Oh? That's why we use this room to develop cheap compliments to shower on the player during the demo. Go ahead and press that button to see some of the superficial flattery we've been cooking up. Do I really want to press this button? Alright, just once. My heavens! I've never met someone who can consume as much uranium in a single sitting as you can. Just look at you go. I'm not sure that's much of a compliment, game. Of all the people I know who are playing this exact demo at this exact moment and standing in this exact room, your performance is easily in the top 5,000. Top 4,700 even. I won't go as far as 4,600. That's not very complimentary either. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is embarrassing. I really can't think of anything else to say. Uh, no, no. You've really exhausted my list of compliments. Oh. Goodness. That was fast. Either you or this department has a lot of room for improvement. Okay, then. What's next? Oh. Can't press the button anymore. Have you deactivated the button? You might have deactivated the button. You don't want to show that you don't have any more compliments. That was a whole two compliments. To say they were compliments was maybe stretching it a bit. Can I go back in? No, nothing changes. Okay. Buttons and choice. Wall technology! Excellent! I've always wanted to know about walls. Disclaimer, I've wanted to never know about walls. Is there something down there? Is there? Isolation chamber? I'm not going to ask about that, and I'm just going to go look at walls. Facility manager. Not present. Now, I think you'll find this exciting. We've actually developed a wall that you can walk through. Oh! Go ahead. Give it a shot. Is this basically... not a wall? Oh. Hmm. Guess it's still in development. Oh. Right. Okay, moving along. I'm gonna keep trying. Oh. Okay, so you haven't developed a wall I can walk through? Has anything been developed? Has anything actually been finished How's in the th anticipation? Still feeling it? No. Not really. It's not really been that impressive yet. The emotion booths! Surely this game's demo will redeem itself here. Now, here's what we use to convey story. These booths convert text from a story into raw emotion. Okay. Go ahead, step into one of them, and feel the sheer power of narrative exposition. Hmm. Discovery or despair? Discovery, despair. Disco despair! Where did these cliffs go? These crags that we stood upon? They shielded us from our own ignorance, spoke coddling words, and wrapped our vulnerabilities in a woolen cloth that so many times I tried to set aflame. If I knew these comforts now, would their fibers be any more sensitive to the heat of my touch? Perhaps it was the cold I desired most of all. That empress to whom my flesh was always invisible. A hammock for the bones, waiting to be touched. And to be known. Hmm. Well, that worked. It, well, sort of. It showed text and said stuff. What about discovery? Is there anything over here? No. It's fear, Well, now, now we have to save at least a few emotions for the full game. Are you sure? What about back here? Anything back here? Ooh, hello. Secret. Aha! Where does this go? It's a dance party! Dance, 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 dance. Oh. It's now a very over dance party. Well, I wonder if that dance party will appear in the main game. Who knows? Who knows? Well, are there any other ones? There is Discovery. Here we go! Was no and within the shame he carried that ocean breeze did drift. 
The no. fierceness of the tides, the inevitable collapse of their kingdoms, washed ashore, bereft of shame, martyrs devoid of a cause, ripping and tearing at the eternal seams. A vessel without a captain, carrying itself like plastic in the wind, hinting at a purpose that was truer in some distant memory, if only it could decipher through time's veneer whose memory it wanted to be. I'm not sure that was exactly the right thing for that. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. So that's happiness and courage and embarrassment and confusion. And there's fear. I'm curious as to why he said he had to save fear for the actual game, though. Oh, you went in both booths? Oh, how vulnerable of you. If at any point during the demo you need to cry, just let me know and we can take a minute. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm done. I think I got a good old fashioned cry out there. All technology, buttons and choices. Can we go in here yet? No? Okay. What else have I not looked at? Final choice. Ah, the demo status. Excellent. This device tells you whether or not you're inside a video game demonstration. Okay. Somewhere around here, there's also a device that tells you whether or not you're inside a device that tells you whether or not you're inside a video game demonstration. Excellent. Am I inside a video game demonstration? Are you that eager for the demo to start? Don't worry. We're almost there. But I'm going to press it. Okay, fine. Nothing in this room will kill you. Are you sure about that? Are you sure? Okay, maybe... Maybe nothing in this room will kill me. Okay, okay, I believe you. Nothing in this room will kill me. Apparently. Can I get up to that out of order one? Nope. Notice. Important rules for properly administered ministering demonstrations. Get right to gameplay. Give a brief summary of the game's plot rather than a full explanation. Hint at the first boss, but don't give away exactly who it is yet. Make all cutscenes skippable. Demo should last exactly eight minutes. Player should not be confused. Also, this is art. This is not art, apparently. But this is art. So, without further ado, we've done... Buttons and choice, wall technology. What happens if I go back into buttons and choice? No, no, we've already seen this room. If it saves you the trouble of pushing another button, I can assure you that you're still a pervert. I'm gonna push a button. No? Well, I'm gonna go back even further. Will you let... Actually, I don't think you'll let me go back that much further. Okay, fine. Can I go back into a room I've already been in again? Seems like a plan. What about this one? been here too. Okay, we can't do anything there. Looks like we might have to actually go and uh, do the final choice. Because we can't go in here. Nope. Okay, the final choice. I don't know what the final choice is, but okay. Do you like the Stanley Parable? There's a door we can't... Okay, let's... Ah, now this room is perhaps the most important you'll encounter in the demo. This is where we determine whether or not the demo has been effective. Okay. Whether it's conveyed the wit and soul of the Stanley Parable in such a compelling way that you reach him... No! What are you doing? You can't make that decision yet. You haven't played the demo. Oh. We've put so much work into this demonstration. Wouldn't it be a shame if you rushed right into making a purchasing decision without savoring it first? Oh. Let this one simmer. You'll have plenty of time to decide later. Will I? Will I? And so, when we come back, folks, uh, we're not going to be allowed to decide if we actually like the Stanley Parable yet. It seems like the narrator has other plans for me. But don't worry, the demo is still in progress. Just in case you were worried, it's still in progress. So, I'll catch you next time, and I'll see you then. Later.
You're not gonna let me decide, are you? You're not going to let me decide. Hmm. We'll see about that, narrator. We'll see.